This is Open House, the show that saves you money. We begin with a check of the housing headlines. Home prices dropped by their sharpest rate ever from this time last year, down 15.4%. New home sales are up 2.4% from June, with the median price of a new home down 6.3% from a year earlier. So if you are looking to buy, you've got to get those finances in order. Robert Sheeman is a personal finance expert and the author of How Come That Idiot's Rich and I'm Not. Great to see you, Robert. Good to see you, Jerry. All right, well, let's start with the basics, because if you really want to get a mortgage out there, buy a house. It sounds great. The prices are down, but it's really, really hard because the lenders are so stingy these <laughs> days. What's the first step? You know, number one, back to the basics, get your spending under control. What's coming in? What's going out? What can you afford? Forward. Yeah, and you talk about getting your spending under control. You might as well have a budget, but you say that 20 to 30 percent of every budget is fantasy land. It's extra stuff. It's stuff you don't need. That sounds like a lot of dough. It's fluff. You know, you can look at any budget, a household or a business, and there's usually 20 to 30 percent in there that without changing your lifestyle can be cut out. You know, another thing I think to think about is what is that credit score? Because it really matters in this marketplace. The requirements for credit scores now for loans are so much higher than they used to be, up to 700 now, just as a baseline you used to be able to get away with all kinds of things what do you do to move that score ahead and when you're looking at those those lists of items on your credit report what, what are you focusing on well the first thing is get a copy of it you can get one for free uh, off the internet and look at it you know uh, most people have never done that there are 50 percent of all credit reports have some type of error so it's about looking at it and saying hey this isn't me that's not me write a letter your score right. might change uh, number two is uh, there's a lot of inner uh, things that are counterintuitive, they don't make sense. Like for instance, don't close accounts. The longer the accounts open, the higher your credit score. Because no that, that means that you have more experience in the marketplace. Uh, lenders look at that favorably. And if you close down credit cards, that means you'll have less credit. And lenders don't like to see that you have a lot of debt compared to your credit. That's right. Here's another strange one. Don't get your credit checked too much, you know, looking at cars or houses, because right. every time you get it checked, it can knock it down about four points. Here's another strange one, Jerry. I thought you would pay off your bills every month that means you have good credit, your score would go up. Not true. You want to leave about a 5-10% balance uh, every month and not pay it off. That will actually raise your credit score. Doesn't make any sense, but that's how they do Wacky it. Wacky world, isn't it? Credit cards? Yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, the rules are Byzantine, and fortunately, we have people like you to describe them here. Of course, quickly now, if you had one piece of advice, something very specific for folks today, what would you tell them about this housing market? Well, it's a great time to buy. Uh, negotiate, negotiate, negotiate. There's tons of motivation sellers out there it's getting affordable and go out there shop take your time but just like we're talking about make sure you know what you can afford before you go out and look oh, get pre-approved get your credit score know what you can afford comfortably monthly payments not what everybody did a okay. few years ago uh, you know where you're making five thousand a month and your mortgage is four thousand no okay. thirty to forty percent tops of your income find out what you can afford get pre-approved there right. are loans out there then go shop for get a great deal get a loan and there's a house out for you at a good price you heard it from Robert Sheeman.